This is one for the Merlin fans. Did you know that you can visit the castle from the show? Yep, that's right, and they filmed every series of Merlin here on location. This is Chateau de Pierrefonds, and today we're going on a guided tour. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Sophie from Third Eye Traveller and today I'm here in Pierrefonds in France. I'm going to be visiting Chateau de Pierrefonds, which is the castle that was used in Merlin. So if you're a Merlin fan, this is where they filmed pretty much every season of the show. I'm so excited to be going inside. So yeah, let's have a look around Chateau de Pierrefonds. Now, getting here from Paris isn't that easy. You do have to go to Compiègne, which is a city here in France, and then take a taxi to Pierrefonds. The train costs about 15 euros, which isn't so bad, it takes about an hour. And then the taxi is only about 20 minutes, but it did cost me about 30 euros, so it's quite a lot. There may be cheaper options out there, but I just picked the first one. So, yeah. Absolutely love Merlin. I think I've watched it since episode one that came out, I think, in 2008, nine. Oh my gosh, it feels like so long ago. But anyway, it's still very popular. I've been to many of the filming locations and honestly, it's one of the coolest shows I think has been made on the BBC. I wish they carried it on. They were talking about bringing back a, a reunion, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, just surreal to be here, to be honestly, honest. This is like a dream. <laughs> so yeah, heading up to the castle now. It doesn't open until 10. Um, so I've come here nice and early just to make sure I got here really. So yes, many fans of the TV series Merlin often wonder what castle was used for Camelot Castle in the show. People always ask whether Camelot Castle was CGI or whether it was real. And I totally get that because it almost looks too good to be true. It's easy to accept that this was an animation using some green screen and CGI. But no, Merlin fans will be happy to know that Camelot Castle is a completely real place and you can visit for yourself in Chateau de Pierrefonds in France. I'm not gonna lie, I actually got quite emotional when I reached the front of the castle. Merlin has been a one of my favorite shows for years and I couldn't believe I finally made it to this filming location. The production team filmed every season of Merlin here from 2008 to 2012 and all your favorite scenes with Merlin, Arthur, Uther, Gwen, Gaius and Morgana were all filmed in around the castle and the courtyard. What's even more mind-blowing is that they didn't alter much of the castle for filming either. They only added some additional furnishings and a small medieval street with the Rising Sun Tavern, Merlin's favorite. Unfortunately these props and sets won't be here anymore but you will still love wandering around this incredible castle to see your favorite scenes. For example you'll recognize the outer areas for Arthur's training session and the central courtyard was used in the very first episode when we saw the witch being burnt at the stake. The great hall was used as Uther's throne room and you'll see lots of rooms where they used to hold their council and where Merlin and Gaius were seen wandering around the castle. One of the most recognisable scenes I think Merlin fans will love is the iconic staircase where Merlin used to be seen running up and down. The statue of the griffin appeared many times and I just think it's so cool that this really wasn't a set, it was just using the castle features. So yes, Chateau de Pierrefonds is a castle that looks straight out of a storybook in the commune of Pierrefonds. This is in the Ois region of Picardie in France. The castle we see today is a 19th century reconstruction, but a fortress was originally built here in the 12th century. In 1392, King Charles VI gifted Pierrefonds and the County of Valois to his brother Louis, the first Duke d'Orléans. Louis then worked on Pierrefonds until his death with the architect Jean Lenoir. During the reign of Louis XIII, the castle was besieged by troops sent from Cardinal Richelieu. Yes, that's the guy from the Three Musketeers. And at the time, it was owned by Francois Annabelle d'Astre, who joined the Parti de Mescontents. So Louis XIII wanted the castle destroyed, but it was only partly ruined after the troops left. Emperor Napoleon then bought Chateau de Pierrefonds in 1810 for less than 3,000 francs, and it became a romantic ruin. At the time, there was a fondness for rediscovering architectural heritage. Eventually, it was Napoleon III that then visited in 1850 and asked the architect Voilet le Duc to completely restore the castle. It was to become a grand imperial residence and was completely rebuilt, costing 5 million francs. Unfortunately, le Duc died midway through the project and so the interiors were never fully finished. So what we have left is an impressive structure with partly finished rooms. On your visit, you can wander through many of the royal bedrooms and guest wings. You'll see beautiful artwork, fireplaces and statues of Charlemagne, but there will be no furniture in sight. 
most of the castle is just a structure and the beginnings of a grand imperial residence that never could be. Unfortunately, the Grand Hall or Salle de Peruses was shut on my visit. This was the incredible hall where Arthur had his coronation. Unfortunately, it's under construction for a few years. However, wandering around the labyrinth of corridors and elaborate staircases was incredible. It's easy to see why this is a popular filming location for movies and TV series. You may recognize Chateau de Pierrefonds in The Man in the Iron Mask, the Wizard's Waverly Place and even Versailles. This castle truly looks like a fairy tale castle and I would 100% recommend visiting in Paris. It's open most of the year, even on Mondays, and you can get in using the Paris Pass and Paris Museums Pass. It's traditionally open from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and last century is one hour before closing. Weirdly enough, one of my favorite parts of touring this castle was the crypt. This is the only remaining part of Louis's medieval fortress. In 1837, King Louis Philippe founded the historical galleries of Versailles in the hope of turning the chateau into a museum. He commissioned a series of sculptures to be made with notable French characters, but surprisingly it wasn't very popular and came out of fashion in the 21st century, so they were moved to Pierrefonds in 1953. They had this really cool show with all these speckled lights and you could hear stories from the crypt as you walked around. Make sure to grab an audio guide because a lot of it is in French, but you could still get the meaning and it was a really cool atmosphere. Again, it's such a cool place and I just felt it was surreal to walk around Camelot Castle. Honestly, it's the perfect day trip for Merlin fans or just those that love history. Every part of this castle is magical. You'll see a statue of St. George slaying the dragon. There's statues of salamanders and mythological creatures everywhere and it really does feel like you've stepped into a fairy tale. Personally, I would recommend leaving at least one to two hours to explore as there are so many rooms and things to see here. You definitely don't want to rush around. There's also lots to see in the outer fortress walls where you can see even more Merlin filming locations. And of course, there is a gift shop where you can buy souvenirs, but unfortunately, there wasn't many Merlin souvenirs, which I was really surprised by. To be fair, they did film this quite a few years ago now, so I completely understand. But it still would have been nice to see some Merlin pieces I could have bought to remember my visit. Entrance fees for Chateau de Pierrefonds are eight euros, but there is free admission for those under 26 years old residing in the EU. Even if you didn't want to go inside the castle I would still recommend having a walk around the outer fortress. It's quite a steep climb from Pierrefonds Centre however you can get some spectacular views for free and there is even a beautiful walk through the forest that you can take with views of the castle. This is an option for those that are on a budget or just simply want to have a picnic outside in the nice weather but if you wanted to avoid a steep walk you could always get the petit train. I really like the castle. I have to admit, I was a bit upset because they put scaffolding all over it, which is really upsetting. Like, they should say on the website that they're going to be doing that, but oh well. yeah, it was really good. And now I'm going to be getting the little train back down, and they have a 20 minute round trip of the town that you can do, which is quite cool. So, I'm going to do that. So, yeah. So, Although Pierrefonds is a small commune, it's well worth having a look around on your visit to the chateau. And the Petit Train is a great way to be introduced to this area and it will take you around the town. It has an English commentary and you can learn all about the history of Pierrefonds. It even takes you up to the castle entrance to save an uphill walk. I actually caught the train at the castle to be taken back down. And I didn't realize that we'd be stopping for a good while before it set off again. It usually takes off from the main square of Pierrefonds and costs six euros a ticket. Or you can pay four euros for an adult rate, which is a single trip. Pierrefonds is a tiny place, but it does have some lovely buildings and museums to see beyond the castle. You'll pass by the main square of Pierrefonds, which has a boulangerie and a couple of shops, the town hall square and a museum. It's also good to note that Pierrefonds has a couple of restaurants, but they only serve lunch and dinner at set times. So make sure to check when dinner and lunch services so you don't miss out. Luckily, there's a couple of boulangeries and bakeries to choose from if you do not find a restaurant to eat at. Lac de Pierrefonds is a very popular attraction here in the commune. When the weather is good, you can rent these swan boats to pedal around the lake. I really hope that you enjoyed our visit to Chateau de Pierrefonds and the Merlin filming location. For me, it was a dream come true and I'm sure it would be for any Merlin fan. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to subscribe for more magic. Thank you.